I've been climbing for quite a while now. I got selected for the British team in 2008. Highs and lows, but it was an amazing time. In 2015, when I got dropped from the team, I lost all passion and love for it, really. I didn't put my shoes for 12 months, which was probably the worst thing I could have done. Where are we now? Um, can you call it a midlife crisis at 30-something? I don't know if you can, but here we are, giving it another shot. Why am I getting cramp in my ab? Maybe it's a hernia. <laughs> 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 Pressure. 18. Really good JP. That means the rest gets less, right? You've got 34 seconds. <laughs> I'm not under any illusion as to what I'm going into. The sport has moved on in a short period of time, like three years. These guys are operating at a ridiculous level, even compared to where I was when I was competing. Like things have moved on. What do I want to do? What do I want to do about it? What is this all about? I don't, I don't know. I think ultimately it's about trying to find a bit of myself again. I had a long time off climbing. I entered a couple of comps and things started to go well and I thought maybe that's something I should focus on a bit more and then Robin um, said that I should definitely focus a bit more and here we are giving it another shot. These are not fun. Ah, oh, there's a deep breath. I'm actually quite nervous like butterfly nervous. I don't know, it's either going to go one or two ways. I'm either going to be really surprised by the results or it's going to make me even more apprehensive and nervous about the process. It's, it's about benchmarking today, I think, and getting to know what level I'm actually at. And it's only in the last couple of weeks that we've really, my wife, started to get back in shape. Let's warm up these bad boys. Being a similar age and feeling frail, I, uh, I'm looking forward to essentially how he gets on. He's just a genuinely nice guy, isn't he? Can JP. You teach an old dog new tricks? Can you? I liken this episode, I said this to JP, like the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> you told me you wouldn't talk about the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> he's obviously strong, he's had two years out, pretty much two years. Last, last proper with BBC's 25th It's a challenge, and who doesn't like a challenge? The muscle memory's there, we've just got to get this, this old boy into shape. One of, the, one of the things that's most challenging is that John isn't the former climate he's used to, so injuries are going to be one of the things that we've got to be really careful about. This, I don't know if you noticed, is not the body of an athlete, and I think that's the, the first thing we've got to yeah. fix. I think a lot of people can like themselves to to this, so <laughs> <laughs> if he can do it, you can do it. <laughs> this thing? Yeah. yeah, so big jug. Yeah. Big jug. Right. I'm not point under the, any uh, illusion as to <laughs> what I'm going into. Like these, like the sport has moved on in a short period of time, like three years. These guys are operating at a ridiculous level, even compared to where I was when I was competing. Like things have moved on. Uh, JP. Yeah. Uh, in all seriousness, we can do some stuff on this now. Right. What I want you to do initially is just... Have you been on the lattice? No. Never been on it. Ten moves. Just anywhere you want to go. So you in your own time. So if I drop in a name. Three, two, one, here we go. So one. Two. Right foot. Two. When you place a toe, quite front on like this, it forces your knee and your bum out. So there's a lot of pulling. Okay, you can pop off JP. So that was looking at two things, pace test, just looking at your natural pacing, but also your natural movement. So this yeah, use the word, so right foot, I'm gonna give you direction now, JP. So drop a yeah, knee. Yeah, so twist your hip more. This is technique. Now twist. JP will make oh. a climb round of you someday. Twist your hips, back to the game. Okay, hop up. Give a little, little high five. Shakira, Shakira. Okay, you can rest. 
So what you just did is one circuit. And that's what the sport planners do. So this angle, 27.5 degrees, is very specific to if you're a 7B sport climber and above, kind of almost up to 8C level, but we're going to be looking at your anaerobic fitness because you're going to be pulling hard consistently on the boulders that you're going to be doing. So we're going to go into an angle that your fingers are stressed to the point that you're anaerobic. I've always been someone that's been super focused and had direction. Everything that defined me was about competing and about being a person associated with that. That's one of the things I've struggled with. I'm dipping back in to try and find myself and find where it is that I sit. Doing the BBCs isn't about that, I know I'm not going to win it. Like, who am I kidding? If I, if I make the semi-finals, I'll be pretty happy. So everything's a test, but two yeah. are warm-ups and three are good. No, so we've got five functional movement tests. Right. And that's separate to your, essentially, lactate curve. Just tell me what to do, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. He'll be uh, 35 at the BBC's. Hey, hey, hey. Are you the oldest competitor in all seriousness? No, Darren's. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Jason Bourne. <laughs> okay. Twist round. Right foot high, left foot high. Drop me. Shut the ranks. Left foot high, look at this movement. Did you oil the joints this morning? <laughs> Perfect, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Lovely. Have you told um, these guys about your shoulder injury? Uh, I don't know about injuries. You've got an injury. So, what are, yeah, what are your on injuries? The board, on the board. board, should we go priority order? Yeah, let's go priority order. Okay, left shoulder It's probably like a 7 out of 10. What did you say it was? Rotator. Rotator cut. Rotator cut. That's probably like a 7, seven out, out of 10. 7 out of 10, it's quite severe. Left elbow It's probably a... It's, I'd say actually it's gone down to a five today. Yeah. That feels pretty good. Left index finger is about a six. This just came on yesterday. That's probably about a three today. Four. <laughs> oh, just ten six. I feel like I can pull on. Which through. is why I think it's much lower in me. That's it. I think it's mo most I'm people's two. The two. Uh, I'm, I'm a nobody. To, to anyone on the street, I'm just like everybody else but in a weird little niche world that we find ourselves in, a few people still recognise me down the wall. <laughs> okay, so at 27 and a half degrees, you scored a five out of five on both, both camera. Uh, you scored a five out of five on both uh, mobility tests. So essentially the goal is to, to replicate it through to 12. Good, rotate round, left foot high, right foot behind you. Crossing through to three. Strong baby. Good. Cross through to eight. Lock it in. Right. Lovely, mate. Really good. Still. So we're doing more of this today. Absolutely. I yeah. thought that was it. No, this is this is just a sighting. This is for you to get to know the lap. We, <laughs> like, we like I to call it the I genuinely thought when you were like, that's amazing. Five out of five. Boom. Done. Lattice nailed it. Pulls that you did at the end. Uh, that's pretty small. It's a 20 mil end. But it's, sleep, but it's sleeping. Yeah, it's ergonomic, right? So it feels, it feels quite nice. Size. It's just half print for now. Yeah, and when you're ready. And down, JP. Lovely. Cool, have a little rest. That's an annoyingly difficult hold. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah, really hard. Three, two, or well, whenever you're ready. Go for it. <laughs> and, uh, and when I thought you were fading, <laughs> that's brilliant. We just edited. No, that we is. Was... That's going to be the intro to JP. But everybody thinks of you as a shy, really polite guy, and he's just arrogantly kissed the gun. Left arm, at JP. Might not get a gun kiss this time. And down. That, that, that face is going to haunt your dream. And right, right hand, hand piece, half crimp, I'll stop the spin. It's probably because there's like 60 feet of tape on my hand. What would it could be the vest. Do? It could what be the vest. Cousins do? He'd hold it He's just with weight on. in his hand. Ready? Yeah. Hey! Come on, JP. And knocked on, stop. Cool, fade Have you done 159? No, but I, that's one of my goals. <laughs> Such a sandbagger on this, he's so good. Five nine. I bet you give it a gun kiss on the way, don't you? I'm going for the blow. <laughs> give it the, the French blow. Come on, JP. You know what? 
That's good. I'm actually surprised yeah, by that. Yeah. That's good work. Oh, I did back. Come on. Ooh. Wow. That wasn't no, bad. Okay, no. I don't think anyone's ever used those middle ones. No, I can't even see them. Apparently, according to your finger strength, you should be on them either. <laughs> True story. Yeah. This morning, you weighed in at 71.2 kilograms. Your weaker arm needed 8 kilograms of assistance. If you divide that by your body weight, you're able to hold 89% hold of your body weight. So you need to lose a bit of this and, and gain, gain a lot a of that. Yeah. <laughs> Function movement's very good. His, the, the two things that are alarming for me one is his shoulder impingement, so he's got a rotator cuff injury that we need to uh, sort out. But the thing that was really surprising for me is his finger strength. Like, uh, having to have eight kilograms of assistance on his right arm is fairly weak. So if we're talking about comparing him to his, his competitors, it's weak. The, the, the exciting thing for me is always the gains that we're going to make. So we've got 90 days and injury is going to be the hardest thing to avoid for John at his age. I'm, I'm genuinely nervous now. I'm much more apprehensive than I was. It's like dawning on me what I've signed up for. I've got a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do. I'm, 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 I'm much further off the pace than, than I thought I was. Genuinely, I was pretty, pretty shocked by it. But I don't know, we've got 90 days. I'm an eternal optimist, so We'll see. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. I have and am having an identity crisis, no doubt, 100%. You know, if anything good can come from hearing about some guy ramble on about days gone by, maybe actually the, the focus is more on the fact that everybody has their struggles and you know you might look at somebody who thinks a certain way or looks a certain way but actually they've got their own issues going on.